All right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 2.2, multiplying and dividing decimals, found on page 52 of your textbooks. And the goal is to understand and apply multiplication and division of decimals. Now, you've done this before, so it's pretty easy stuff. Let's just run through a quick example here. Quick example, 2.5 times 2.5. This is stuff you've seen before, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2 over. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Next line over. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2. Oh, don't need that anymore. 2 times 5 is 10. Bring over the 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So your answer here, 5, 2, Six. How many decimals? One, two, one, two. Boom. So, two point five times two point five is six point two five. That's all you need to know, right? No, no. We will continue because it's grade eight, and we have to solve problems. So here it is. Here's your problem. Costas works part time as an usher at a movie theater. Until this week, he earned eight. Dollars and twenty-five cents an hour, and worked twenty-nine and a half hours a week. Twenty-nine point five, twenty-nine and a half hours a week. This week he received a raise of thirty-five cents an hour. Never mind about the raise right now. How many hours would Costas need to work now <clears throat> to earn the same amount he earned before he got the raise? So we need to know how much he earned before. So let's work that out. Now here's your question. 29.5 times 8.25. Now first we want to estimate. $8 an hour. 8.25, close to 8. 29.5, close to 30. 8 times 3, 24. Add a 0, 240. Pretty simple stuff. So let's see if this works out. So we're going to work this out here. 5 times 5, bear with me, I may make some mistakes. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry over, 5 times 9 is 45, plus 2, 47. Bring over the 4, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14. So there's your first line. Let me get rid of those numbers on the top. Beautiful. And we continue. Next, 2 times 5 is 10. Now remember the space, bring it over 1. Okay, remember that. So 2 times 5 is 10. Carry it over. 2 times 9 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. We bring that over. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 5. All right, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 5. Lovely. All right, next line. Remember, so I'm going to get rid of that again. Just make it a little cleaner. All right, and here we go. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 5 is 40. Bring over the 4. 8 times 9 is 72. Plus 4 is 76. All right, 7. 2 times 8, 16. Plus 7 is 23. All right, we're all done here. All that's left to do is the adding. So, 5 right there. 7 plus 0 is 7. 4 plus 9 is 13. Add that right there. 1, 1 is 2. 7 and 3 is 13, 1, 4, 2. Now, how many decimal places do we have here? 1, 2, 3. We move it over. 1, 2, 3. Now, we're dealing with money here. We're dealing with money. So, there's not three decimal places in money. There's two. So, we're going to round that up to 2. 43, round up, 375, 38. 
Is that reasonable? Is that a reasonable estimate? 240? Yeah, that's reasonable. Beautiful. Great job. So, remember, all we're doing is taking the decimal places, counting how many are in each line here. We have two lines here. So, so how many decimal places? One, two, three. And then we move it over once we do the addition. Move it over. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. All right. Again, don't worry. We'll be doing some of this in class. So we'll continue. Now, I'm looking at my clock. It says I'm doing five minutes and 35 seconds. Let's move along. All right. Example two. Now, this is a little difficult. That's why I wrote a bunch of stuff here. Or actually, just copy and paste it from the, uh, from the book. Um, I want you to take all this down. So pause right now and take all this down. But I'm going to explain it all to you. Now, example two, division. How many hours would cost us need to work now to earn the same amount that he used to earn each week? So clearly he's making more, he's got to work less. So he's making an extra 35 cents an hour, so now he earns $8.60. He used to earn in the amount that we put here, 30, sorry, 29.5 hours. That's how much he made in 29.5 hours. Now he's making that much. He's going to work less than that. But the question is, how much, how much less does he have to work? So if Costas is working, is earning more, he should be able to work fewer than 29.5 hours to earn the same amount. Costas received a raise of 35 cents per hour, so now he earns $8.60. All right, so that's how much he used to make. That's how much he's making now. Let's work out how much he needs to work. To calculate the number of hours he needs to work, divide his earnings by his hourly wage. Here's his hourly wage, previous earnings. Now, to make it easy, just to eliminate all of the uh, decimals so we don't have to work after the fact, multiply both the divisor and dividend by 100 to express both amounts in cents. So we multiply $8.60 times 100, both by 100. All right. And this is what you're going to end up with, these two numbers. 860, 24,338 cents divided by 860 cents. And then you do your addition. Do your addition. Everything, just run through it. Take a look here. How many times does 860 go into 24? Doesn't. 243? Doesn't. 2,433 two times and then you go through then you carry the decimal down and as you're doing your operation you just go and plug in the decimal where it already is see decimal moves up there lovely keep adding zeros after the decimal until the quotient has a desired number of decimal places so your answer is how all, how long does he have to work to make the same amount he made before? Now he only has to work 28.3 hours. That's it. That's all he has to do to make a simple division question. But what you're doing is you're running your division question and your decimal is after your number. And you keep going until you are up with no remainder and your decimal place. Good? Sounds good? We'll explain more once we get in the class next day. All right, so that's all for now. Oh, almost nine minutes, so I will stop talking now. So, tally-ho, cheerio, and we'll talk in class. Thank you.